I have a project that needs some brick. Uh, so I'm going to record it and show you the steps I take to make um, a brick pattern in 3ds Max that's tileable. And um, there's several different software and applications that I use. I use Shader Map, which creates the diffuse, the bump, the displacement, the normal maps. Then I use Wall and Tile within 3ds Max to actually take those bricks and randomize them across the um, geometry. Uh, so let me let me start by opening up Photoshop here and opening up the original brick map. So if I were to use this and paste on a plane, it would, it would not tile. Tile. It would be very. Um, you'd see every single tile. It would look very poor. Um, a lot of times, the difference between a good image and a poor one is the effort you put into the textures. And um, bricks are important. So. Here in Photoshop, well first I'm going to take that, that uh, brick pattern, I'm going to open it up in Shader Map. And then Shader Map automatically creates the normal displacement, reflection, and bump maps. I'm going to save those out. Here in Photoshop, I'm going to open them up. And I'm going to paste each of these into a layer on the diffused file. So copy, control A, control C. That's going to be the dirt map, bump map or I should say. Control V, so I'm going to label that bump. The next one's the normal map, control A, control C. Back to that original one, control V normal and then we have the displacement map control a control c back here control v displacement and then we have the reflection actually this is the dirt right here so control a control c control v this is going to be bump and that one is re that one's reflection Okay, I'm going to rename this one Diffused. Drag that up to the top. Okay, I'm going to drag some guides out here and try to place them right in the middle of the grout lines. And now the horizontal grout lines. And I'm going to pick my slice from guides button here. And with the diffuse active, I'm going to export that as a safe for web graphic. And I'm going to name that diffuse. Okay. Next one. Simple little step here. Export, save for web. This time I'm going to name it bump. Now for the displacement. spell it right. Normal. And then we have reflection. Okay, I'm going to open up that materials folder. I don't need these anymore. I'll keep this for now. So here in the images folder, I should have all those texture maps. I'm going to delete the ones I don't need. So I only need full bricks. And I think with this brick pattern I got from the client, I only have four usable bricks. So all the other ones I just dump.
these get a little more difficult to see, but you can make it out. Delete. So I should have four bumps, four diffused, four displacement, four normals, and four reflections. I'm only seeing three normals. So we have a problem. Let me go back to my files here and see if I can restore one of those normals. It was a full brick. Let's just restore them all and I'm still not seeing a brick we missed, but let's restore those. And make sure we got them all. Okay, let's go back and. Don't need that, 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 that. One, two, three, four. Okay, four diffused. I'm sorry, four normals. Okay, so now here in 3ds Max, I'm going to create a texture, and I'm going to use the um, wall and tile um, preset. So I'm going to load a preset. Let's pick a brick about the same shade of what we're using. And then replace their maps with the maps that we just created. So first off, I know it's going to be a stretcher bond. And then I'm going to clear all maps. I'm going to load the maps that we just created. Let's make sure they're in that folder. So we don't need that folder. It's in the image folder. Okay. So we should see four diffuse, four bump, four reflect for us, four displays, and four normals. And we do. There it is. And um, that's it. So you have total control over this material. You, um, let me create a shape here and we'll render it out really quick. Let's just do a box. And let's do camera three. So I'm going to apply that to that box. Let's put a UVW map on it. And let's go with 12 foot. I'm going to move my camera so you can see it better. Okay, render. So what wall and tile is going to do is going to take those brick and then it's going to randomly display that brick across that pattern. And um, to speed up the uh, preview here, I'm going to turn off the displacement. So I don't need any displacement for this preview. So 
So there we go. You have a completely tileable brick pattern using the brick samples for the project. Um, very accurate. Does a great job. That brick pattern I have is pretty small. Um, still works. I've also used, you know, sometimes the client may say, I just want a red brick. Or they'll give me some description that's not very um, descriptive. I do use Acme. Let me see if I can find you here. So I'm going to stop that. So here in Acme, you can create these patterns or the brick and king size brick. Let's start there. All these different brick styles. Change the mortar. Come here and create your pattern. Let's go 10 by 10. And then I can take this into um, the shade map software, create the normals and the displacement, and save this as a JPEG and do that same process of slicing it up. And um, had very good success with this as well. This is a free uh, program, Acme Brick Masonry Designer. Very cool stuff. So I hope that helps. Um, any questions, comment, I'll be glad to answer them and enjoy.